This video today will be about how to get XRP and how to remove your XRP from the KuCoin exchange. Now, if you are not signed up with KuCoin yet, I highly recommend that you sign up to KuCoin using the link down below in my description. Now, if you use the link down below in the description, it affords you the opportunity to get up to 3,200 USDT in rewards for new users. You can use the link that's on the screen right now, right there. Type that into your web browser. It'll forward you to KuCoin. It will automatically enter the referral information and all you have to do is simply sign up. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in because I'm already signed up. Now, once you have logged in, you will be greeted with a page like this. This is your dashboard. The point of this video here is to show you how to pull your cryptocurrencies off of the KuCoin exchange or any exchange for that matter. The process is very similar for removing your cryptocurrencies from pretty much any cryptocurrency exchange. So we're gonna to go to the markets. Actually, we're going to go to my account first. My assets. So we're going to go to my assets first. Overview. I got $220 to work with. That should be plenty. We're going to take $100 and then we're going to buy some. Well, we're going to take $100 and we're going to trade into some XRP. And we're going to withdraw the XRP into my Exodus wallet. The Exodus wallet is a fantastic wallet that can store many, 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 many different types of cryptocurrencies. It also has a built-in swap feature. So you can swap your cryptocurrencies that you are storing in your don't get it twisted. It is your personal cryptocurrency wallet. The Exodus wallet is entirely yours. It's not connected to their servers. You hold the private keys. If you have a wallet and you're not holding the private keys to your cryptocurrencies, it is not your cryptocurrency. We are going to go into the assets. Click your name, click assets, and you can go to overview. It doesn't matter. Now, when you get into your asset overview, you have most of your money in the funding account if you you know, just recently added some funds to your account. But we need to put them over into the trading account so that we can actually start trading. We can simply click the transfer button right here and it's gonna give us the option. So we're gonna trade it from our funding account to our trading account. And we are going to transfer 100 US dollars. We're gonna confirm. All right, so now we have $100.48 in our trading account. Now we can go to the markets. So we're gonna search XRP because that's the cryptocurrency we are trying to acquire. Now we're gonna click it. We're gonna click the trade button right there. Now we are already set up to trade XRP USDT. Let's get us some XRP and let's get our XRP off of this exchange because we don't wanna keep our cryptocurrencies on any exchange unless you are actually actively trading at the moment now so we are going to buy some xrp right because we have usdt we don't have xrp if we had xrp we would be buying usdt but we wouldn't be buying we would be selling our usdt to get the xrp but we have usdt so we're going to be buying xrp so we click the buy button which is already highlighted for us and when you start there's going to be a trading password that you need to enter so make sure you remember the trading password that you did set up it's going to prompt you KuCoin is going to prompt you to set up a trading password before you can start trading we are going to go to this tab right here order books or we can go to recent trades let's go to the order books so these are the buyers right here and these are the sellers we are going to click here because this middle number right here, that is the most recent trade. That is the trade that just happened, the last trade that was executed successfully. So we're going to click that, and that should give us a price right there. It populated a price, a relatively close price to what the market is doing right now has been populated into our USDT purchase price box right there. This is the box that we will enter the amount that we want to pay. If we want to pay $0.30, cents, we can put $0.30 cents in that box, but our trade won't execute because the market is not at 30 cents. You can wait, you can leave your order there on the exchange for however long you want. And then one day that order may fill while you're sleeping comfortably in your bed in the middle of the night and you just made some money. Boom, you just made money because your low price order executed. It's a risk, but it's a good risk, it's a gamble. So it's like, um, if you wanna buy low, you put your price there, 
set your price low, and then you wait for it to execute. If you want to sell high, you put your high sell price right there, but you'll be on the sell tab and you put your price there that you want to sell it at. And then you wait for that order to execute. If you want to get something right now, then you want to go to the order books and see what the market is doing. You click that button right there where the number is or the last sell or the last trade. And then that's going to put that into that box, which is giving you a good chance, a very good chance of getting your order filled. Now, we want to choose the quantity. I have $100 in my trading account. Right there, you can see the available funds in my trading account. $100 and 00000013 cents. So, the quantity, we'll go with 100%. We are going to spend all of that $100 and get 208.8 um, XRP once our order is executed. So, we are going to click the buy button. So let's click this one more time so we can get the most current price information right there. And we have a better chance of getting our order filled. We're going to click the buy XRP and then our order should pop up right there. You have placed the order successfully. You see that thing right there? And there was a ding, a noise, which indicated that our order has been successfully filled. And you can see our balance right there now for XRP shows 208 and we have zero dollars available in USDT, see, because our order was successful. Now, if our order was not successful, you would see the list of open orders right here under the open orders tab. So you would simply scroll down and you can see all of your open orders. These are the orders that you have pending that have not been executed. Now that we have our XRP, we are going to go to our assets page again. Click assets, it's gonna take us to this page right here. Um, our trading account, we have about $100.45 worth of cryptocurrencies in our trading account. So we're gonna click our trading account and you will see the assets that we have. So what we're going to do right now is transfer it from our trading account into our main account. And once we have our assets in our main account, we can go ahead and withdraw the assets from our main account and send it over to our Exodus wallet that you can get by using the link down below in the description. So we are going to go hit transfer and transfer from the trading account to the funding account because that's where we can withdraw from our funding account. We can withdraw from there. Now we're going to choose the coin XRP and we are going to select max because we want to transfer all of it. If you don't want to transfer all of it, then you would enter the amount in that line right there that you do want to transfer. We're going to confirm and it was a success. You see right there, it says success. Let's go to our funding main account right there and we are going to withdraw. So we're going to hit the withdraw button. Now we are going to select the coin, the XRP. We've already selected that, but if you want to change it, you can change it right there on the withdraw screen that you just, you know, transferred yourself into. The wallet address is the wallet address that you will be seeing on your um, Exodus wallet. So once you log in, once you've set up your Exodus wallet, you saved your password, you saved your private keys or your phrase, your 12 key phrase list so that you can recover your Exodus wallet should something happen. Maybe you forgot your password. You can use the phrase that they give you. It should be a 12 word or 16 word phrase that you will want to keep someplace safe. So let's open up Exodus. I have it installed on my desktop. You can use the mobile version as well. There's a mobile version for iPhone and there's a version for Android as well. So once you are logged into your Exodus wallet, you will go to the top and one of these lists right here, you would select the coin that you want to transfer into the Exodus wallet. So we've selected XRP because that is the coin we want to transfer into our Exodus wallet. And then we will select the receive button right here. You see where it says receive because we want to receive XRP into our Exodus wallet. So we click receive and it's going to give us an address. You can click this button right here to copy that address. Now we are at KuCoin again. So this box here where it says enter the withdrawal address, that's where you will paste the address that you just got from Exodus. So you're going to paste that address right there. Now make sure that address matches the address that you just copied from your wallet. You don't have to check the entire number, but you want to make sure that at least the last five digits are the same because the chances of somebody else having the same last five digits in their wallet address are very slim. So just make sure that the last five digits or the first three or four digits are the same and 
you should be good to go. Now we want to select a network. Sometimes it will select a network for you automatically. So we're going to select a network. We're going to use the XRP network. That's the one we're going to use. It's a 23 cent fee. We're going to confirm. The tag, the Exodus wallet is not requiring a tag. Some wallets require a tag. If your wallet requires a tag to receive XRP, then make absolute certain that you enter that tag number. But the Exodus wallet is not requiring a tag. And how do I know this? Because if it was requiring a tag, if it was requiring a tag number, it would have the tag number listed there as well. Because Exodus is very, um, very particular about making sure that everything on their website while well, everything on their application works properly. So they wouldn't make any mistakes like that. I know because you can see that I have some XRP in my account and that XRP didn't get there magically. I transferred it into my Exodus wallet. So you must fill in your tag correctly to withdraw through XRP or the funds may be lost. Now it doesn't tell you that some wallets don't require the tag, but I'm telling you right now, some wallets don't require you to enter the tag. Now, the minimum amount is 20. We are going to transfer all of them. We got 219 XRP. So we're going to send them all to that wallet. You can add remarks if you want to, and we get the funding account checked right there. And amount we will receive will be 219 minus a fee of 0 0.5 or half of XRP, a half an XRP. Do not withdraw to an ICO or crowdfunding address. Make sure that you are withdrawing to another exchange which would not be a bad idea depending on what it is you're trying to do or your personal wallet. Your personal wallet like the Exodus wallet is the best option to withdraw to. So withdraw to your personal wallet. It could be a Ledger wallet. It could be Coinami. It could be the Atomic wallet, any wallet that you want. But I prefer Exodus wallet and the link will be down below. Once we hit the withdraw button is going to ask us some security questions. So we're going to hit withdraw. Important. The, this network supports tags. Make sure if a tag is required. See, it says make sure if a tag is required. English is definitely not the persons who wrote this first language. So we'll hit continue because the tag is not required. Confirm withdrawal. We're going to withdraw 219.369914 XRP and we're going to withdraw it to that address. That is the address for our Exodus wallet. And the network is XRP. Withdraw safety phrase. You can also add a withdraw safety phrase to this image from account settings. So we are going to confirm because we don't have an account safety phrase. All right, so we are going to enter our trading password and then we are going to get a code sent to our email. So it's going to send the code to the email address that you use to register with KuCoin. So we're going to send that code. Don't worry if it times out, you are on a timer. So if it does time out, you can always resend the new code and start over. And that's what I'm going to end up having to do. I'm going to have to end up resending a new code. So I'm going to let that expire and I'm going to let it send me another. I'm going to send me another email verification code. Now I'm going to get my Google authenticator code. You got to work pretty quickly. You got to get this done at least within a minute. And then we'll hit submit. Withdrawal initiated. And now we wait. We can check our Exodus wallet to see if it has been, um, has been transferred. It says it's View transaction it says it's in progress. That is the status right there, in progress. So let's view the transaction on the blockchain. Let's get you out of the, oh, you heard that? Did you hear that change? If you heard that change, that is confirmation that we have received our XRP. See right here, it says received a few seconds ago, 219.36 XRP. Now, as you can tell, the process was pretty easy. The main things, the main takeaway from this video is that you need to have your address from the external wallet. So you got to have your deposit address from your external wallet. Once you have your deposit address from your external wallet, you can go ahead and deposit the cryptocurrencies from the KuCoin exchange or whatever exchange or wherever it is that you're trying to move your cryptocurrency from. The procedure is the same. You go into your wallet, you get the address, you get the deposit address, you copy that deposit address, and then you put it over to the exchange and then you send it over to that address. Real easy, real straightforward. Every single cryptocurrency, the procedure is the same as what I just showed you how to do with XRP. So you can do the same thing with XDC. You just have to find a wallet that you can store your XDC in, and then you can just send it over to that wallet and keep that cryptocurrency stored off of the exchange, which is a hazard. You don't want to keep cryptocurrencies on any exchange because exchanges can go belly up. Look at FTX. That was a scam. While KuCoin is a fantastic exchange, 
You can't really trust any institution. The only person you need to be trusting is yourself. And that's pretty much it for this video. I highly recommend that you check out the KuCoin Exchange. Make sure you use the link down below in the description because if you don't use the link down below in the description, you will not be increasing your chances of winning that $3,200 for signing up for KuCoin. And you will not be saving on any of the trading fees if you don't use the link down below in the description. And make sure you use the link down below to get the Exodus wallet as well. Um, it helps out the channel because I do get a little portion of the trading fees or the swapping fees because you can swap your cryptocurrencies out on the Exodus wallet for different cryptocurrencies. So, you know, that's just something to keep in mind. Anyhow, thanks for watching the video. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it helped you find your way around KuCoin and I hope it helped you get your cryptocurrencies off of KuCoin because some people have been having some difficulties doing that based on the comments that I've been reading in the comment section on the video. So thanks for watching. Peace.